Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it and hope that you can hear me because my microphone's covered. As you can see, I'm in my room. I'm not in a house, I'm not in my office. My life has been turned upside down and inside out. <laughs> so I'm sure everybody's 2020 has been that way. So there's nothing, nothing special about me. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I was up all night because I couldn't sleep. I, I don't really sleep much anymore. But anyway, um, and I was thinking about what I was going to get on here and say and a word that God was going to give me. And I was trying to think of things to plan and write. And um, it just didn't feel um, genuine. So I prayed this morning and um, before I sat down to do this and um, yeah so I'm gonna pray real quick before I get into everything so Father God thank you so much for today Lord thank you for the word that you have given me um, and how you're ministering to me right now in this time God I pray that the words that I speak are from you Lord and that um, it can help someone somewhere and uh, they can find healing in you in your name amen so I um, as you can see I'm, I'm on my bed and I'm in a room um, and I have been praying uh, incessantly for God to show me guide me use me and um, so today I'm coming with uh, a word slow down so in 2020, obviously everyone's been chaotic and dealing with changes, changes everywhere, jobs, people, health, everything, you name it, it's been changing. And um, me personally have just really wanted to um, just be used by God. I was going to go to LA and um, help with COVID in the hospital and, you know, I was going to help this business, help that business, grow this practice. And, um, I just wanted to be used. I wanted to feel significant. We all want to feel significant in some way, shape or form. You know, moms want to make sure that they're playing some type of role in their children's lives. Pastors, you know, everyone wants to feel significant, but as I'm doing this and I'm, I'm running, I'm, I'm working a full-time job and I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do that. I'm like, come on, God, catch up with me. Come on. Where do you want me? Use me. Where do you want me? I'm trying to be involved in ministry and I'm just running my race, not listening, not stopping. I do my quiet time, check it off. Um, and so <laughs> finally God took everything from me, you know, um, Lost my house. I didn't lose it to a foreclosure or bankruptcy. You know, I sold it. Went through a divorce. Got a divorce. Lost my marriage. Um, lost my job yesterday. And so here I am. Um, and I feel like God is saying, Okay, Lorraine, you have nothing now. No job. No home. I'm renting a room. Thank God. Um, you know, pretty much no bills. I have nothing, but God has significantly provided for me. Um, and now I'm, I'm here with him and I'm quiet. And so he brought me to Hebrews and I kind of ran around with it. But the first one he brought me to, uh, Hebrews 13, 5, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because, because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. And that was just so powerful to me in this time because I was chasing money. I was chasing success. Um, not for materialistic things, but just to be secure. I thought I was going to find security in money and um security in significance you know if I was helping this business growing that practice helping the needy doing ministry if I was plugged in as and everywhere I could be I would feel significant um 
I would be successful, you know, growing a business. Uh, and he took it all away. And now I'm here alone with God and my time is precious. And I just want to encourage you wherever you are, whoever you are to be still and to listen and to slow down and maybe realize that it's the little things it's the still small voice and God's trying to talk to you and he's trying to do something big in your life, but it might not come in a big giant package. You know, it might be something small and significant. So, um, he's here. He's never going to leave you and he's always going to provide for you. And that's all I got. So, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there'll be more videos because I have more time. <laughs> Thanks, guys.